What's up, my beautiful lovelies? What's up? I am back. I am back with another podcast flow. Mention me, of course, with the Holy Spirit and what he's wanting to teach me and teach you guys and say to us all in the shift that we're in. So listen, as we welcome the Holy Spirit into the environment, into the ministry, into the tabernacle praise of the podcast, your temple, your dwelling place, your mindset, my God, the clearance is being made. I hear him saying so heavy in this day, Damascus, 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 okay? I had just uploaded a video about the freedom of imprisonment. You should go tap into that. If you didn't before you seen this, go back and watch it. But this is the thing, Damascus. God is saying there were many of you trying to pull the weight of the of the uh provision that God had gave you within who you are to him. And I'm going to put it just like this. You may not even knew your purpose at the time, but there was something that just kept calling you to be able to position yourself to help other people and want to have to rescue them, want to have to save them and want to have to hear out their problem or want to have to hear out the circumstance of what they're going through. My God, but you needed saving, child of God. <laughs> Meaning you may have been a very well good person, right? Have a very good heart, right? But at the end of the day, it takes more than just having a good heart, my God, to save somebody for, from eternal damnation and to save them eternally, my God, to go to heaven, okay? But this is the thing, hmm. Many of you was trying to operate in that in that time frame lukewarm before you was already out of the situation before you were already out of the the the, the same hurt okay which launched you to my god what is it called jesus i denounce the spirit of entrapment my god we got to keep the speed of an increase so i'm gonna just stay here when it come back it come back but Many of you were operating through idolatry by trying to connect with people through pain or through traumatic experience. And there we go. Trauma bonding. Okay. And that's a perverted way of the enemy trying to use your purpose that God has chose to call you for a discipleship to create healing through the atmosphere of saving other people. And how do I know this? My God, because God says, Jesus says, Hey, because you'll be children of God, you have already overcame them. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. And so when I know that my God has died on the cross through our salvation, his spirit lives on the inside of me. So automatically, because my alpha, because my omega, he is the beginning and the end. His son, Jesus, ha, is a prophet. He sees things before it happened. So those things that are you, you're latching on to your purpose and your identity in Christ before you even knew who you're supposed to be in Christ. So when you're walking down the world as a lukewarm Christian and you move by faith and not by sight you pick up the experience of saving people so you attach yourself to those who need a saving to those who could be why the bigger question is why was I doing these things because I needed a savior ha huh? so you have to step into the domain of understanding if you pull these people with you then you will be pulling extra weight and now what I need you to do is release these people because now you're holding the dead weight why because if you lukewarm and they lukewarm then now you got two people over here that's you hear me they're dead in the body of Christ I gotta break it to you just like that at the end of the day you take a rebirthing and ah uh, God told Nicodemus ha huh, the people would not understand him the Pharisees would not understand him my God hallelujah if he until they will be reborn again so you gotta understand it's not by might you've been dragging these people trying to save them throughout your whole life ha huh, trying to hear them out huh, Ah, but they pulling you back. It is not by power. You've been using and overwhelming your, your body, your energy, enslaving yourself towards forgiveness, towards a thing that you got to walk away from. But it's by the spirit of God. So listen to me, child of God. The Holy Spirit says, mention me. There are some things that you've been doing without him. And he need you need his help. 
There is a great rescuing taking place. God is saying, Damascus, huh? Damascus, huh? I'm coming down to heal you. I'm coming down to give you some things that you was missing on why you was burdened. And now you walking away from those things, heavy hearted. My God, but God is saying, hey, don't miss me now. Don't miss me now. Cause I'm going to still use you for that thing that you had to walk away from to leave behind in order to clip off the dead end. So the other situation can grow. And he brought it to me just like this. I'm looking at my hair, my God. And I'm looking at my hair and I want to clip the ends off of my hair. My God, but I'm twiddling my thumbs about how the length may be, but I, I truly want to do it because it's healthy for me. And, and, and if it's healthy for me, if it, it takes the necessity to go ahead and clip away the things that don't belong right there so that I can grow back the necessary inches onto my hair so that I can get to where the length that I'm actually trying to go to. And it's the same thing in our life. Sometimes you got to clip away, my God, what you used to, what you're holding on to, what the things that you think that you, you, you're you not comfortable with. Ha. And then when you walk away from those things, God is saying, hmm, Damascus, it doesn't matter where you started. <laughs> It doesn't matter where, what an enemy wanted to pervert it. He says, I'm going to use it for your good. He says, I'm going to use it for your good. My God, when you take the right correction and to the step of salvation, when you let go and release those things, those things that's carrying burdens for you, Jesus, confusion for you, Jesus, making you do too much out of your own self ordinary, my God, to latch on to, hey, hey, putting those things behind me. I'm putting those things behind me. When you walk by faith and not by sight into the correct direction of letting it go and saying, but I'm not God, but I want to walk towards God. And when you latch on to God, you start to understand Jesus. Let me really back in. Jesus Christ. My God. Lord. <laughs> Jesus, hallelujah. God is saying rise above that dungeon experience for there was more on the other side of the winning team. Hmm. Think it not strange that those same things that you left behind you, those same people ha, that you were trying to rescue will become saved, my God, as you let them go. Hallelujah. 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 No more. Do you care about? Oh, selfish gains. That's okay. Okay. Time to let go. Jesus. Holy Spirit, have your way. Hmm. Have your way. Jesus. Okay. So this is, this is the thing. This is getting deep. Okay. We had a message that we just wrote down today. So he's connecting it. Let's go ahead and get to this message. Cause my God, I am truly flabbergasted. Okay. Let's go to the, to the prophetic flow of how the Holy Spirit wants to move. Mention me. This is called Damascus. Who Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. That was so Lord. I love you. Okay. Oh my God. Jesus, y'all, okay? For you know, I have geared your whole life on a float of abundance above the naysaying spirits that has robbed you. Your dream is shaping you. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. God is saying no more defeat. Every signal has blew past your entire life as a flame starts to smoke against a burning tree. Your body's alignment that's in me, which is the body of Christ, your tempest has led you on another conquest, which is the enemy trying to take you back in your mind, which you already surrendered over to God. Hallelujah. However, you are well equipped to make it out. Blurred visions. You know how the enemy wants to put blurred visions on the world? My God. But God is saying, ha. I have equipped you for the things that he wants to take you back from because I'm leading you to Damascus where even if you think you're persecuting and you're doing something wrong, and even if you are doing something wrong, I'm going to be the God, the light that shines through the darkness of what the enemy was trying to do to you to see that you're persecuting me. Ha. Huh. He says, blurred visions, warfare has equipped you more of those things being sent by the enemy because you joined the winning team 
fully converted, just as Paul was, committed, no longer do you fall for the vengeance missile rising up to get you, stemming from unforgiveness. Ha, let me tell you. You know how you let those things go, putting those things that are behind you, and then now you turn around and, and, and you see that God is doing something for them. And you're looking like, but God, I was serving there, and I was teaching them, but they weren't listening to me. They weren't getting it from me. And I don't understand. How is they getting it now? Now, how, do you, how are you going to use me now to give it to them now? God, what, 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 what is it? God is saying, ha, you had to surrender it over to me so I can do what I needed to do. Yes, you may have been moving, ha, in your purpose, ha, in your dominion, ha, but there was a time where I needed you to poof, move out the way. But see, if you get caught in what's familiar to you, if you get caught in what, an enslavement or a mindset that entraps you, then you will stay stuck where I don't need you to be for too long. Because why? I need you to go back, go further where I have sent you from, not backwards. Ha. Bless the Lord and all his wisdom. As he shifts your intelligence, you now pray for your enemies. Ha. <laughs> ha. By standing in the gap towards your purpose of God saving and developing those for eternity. <laughs> Putting those things that are behind you. My God, no longer about selfish gain of what isn't pleasing to your stubbornness, but about the souls being equipped for the body's alignment. Many are called and few are chosen to walk the life you have been chosen. Consent fully to accept your new beginning. Paul, no longer are you persecuting Jesus for he has revealed a light to you. You're on his kingdom of missionary preaching the gospel to those willing to listen. God has said, hashtag, self-absorb, self-absorb no more. <laughs> the Holy Spirit says, ha, hmm, 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 hey, listen now, mm, 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 mm. Take yourself out the equation. My God. By my stripes, you are healed. He says, take yourself out of the equation. When you start looking about what, what, what they didn't listen to you or they didn't get the word from you or they didn't completely change for you. Now you missing the entirety of the purpose and that's the spell of the entrapment where the enemy is still trying to find his way through the slippery slopes of your mind of being my God back when you was there when you when you were lukewarm he tried to slide his way back in like a snake going through the vines of your mind but God says you have been restored through dominion and authority to know more in this time of your life because you were born again in him so where you're born in Christ the enemy does not believe Long, my God, because of the salvation that's there. So we gotta uproot the weed. Oh Jesus, hey Kasoto We gotta uproot the weeds, my God, that's coming through the garden. Let the let the guests cut the grass so we can see the snakes. Cause it's a snake in your mind trying to make you stem from a place where the enemy was in partnership with you when you didn't know fully your identity. You didn't know fully who you were. You didn't know who you were actually worshiping as you were worshiping pain. Ha! Huh? As you were worshiping sorrow, ha. But now that you're fully committed to God, you're only worshiping the light. So the purpose of these people being saved in their soul to eternity, my God, then that is exactly what you're doing. Now you're walking with the strength of salvation. That is what Christ is all about. My God, are you persecuting me? Ha. Holy Spirit, are you persecuting me? Ha. Check your mind, check your spirit, check your soul, my God, because you just may be out of pocket. And it's okay because God love you. <laughs> it's okay because Jesus love you. And that's what it's all about is his love. And he's trying to gear you, gear you to know that now in your second better half, you are better with him and let him do what he came to do. And listen. My God, he has won the battle over your flesh, over your stubbornness, over your pride, over your reasons. And he will still, let me tell y'all, he will still sit there with you and love you, even though you may feel a certain thing about why this person has been shown compassion. When you turn your vengeance over, I have to get back at this person because now God has made me better in him. So I need them to see me in that way. No, give it to God, the vengeance. 
and let God give you love. Let God reveal his light. Let God mold you. Let God lift you to show you what the reason why we were all sent down here from heaven, Jesus. Hmm. To have eternal glory through Christ Jesus. That's all I want to say. I love you, child of God. Be well. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, move. Because when you have your way. I summon this my apostolic anointing. Something has to break. Tear down every wrong. Set the wrong thing right. Because when you have your way, something has to break. Right now in your name, something has to break. I believe that he will do it. I believe you'll get me through it right now. Something has to break. I believe you'll lead me through it. I believe you'll get me to it right now. Something has to break. Hey. Jesus. Holy Spirit. Okay, he just had his way. <laughs> he just had his way because I wasn't expecting to go there. But at the end of the day, I know that this word was meaningful to your spirit, to your soul. I know, Jesus, that you're going to walk away from this video with no more vengeance and no more rage and taking your own you know, self out of the equation and to see the equation correct between the scenario and God. What does God truly want to do? Be well, be blessed, stay motivated, stay positive, child of God. Keep walking on your mission. Enjoy your life's purpose. Enjoy where you are today and go about your, your blessing. Oh, put on the full armor of God. The breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, the belt of truth. My God, the strength of the Lord, the spirit of God, which is the word of God. My God. And then get understanding and know that Jesus is the full armor of God. And we're in our today. So you got your knowledge, what you understand, take it, mix it together. And so, you know, you are protected in the body alignment. I love you. Be well, be blessed. Bye. Stay motivated.